Hello, welcome to Space Engineers and apologies for the cheesy title. Been playing single play for about a hundred hours. I just wanted to share some of the tips and tricks that I've come across up to now. And please, if there's any others that any other players have come across, leave them in the comments of the video of other little ways to get round. Uh, Space Engineers is still currently in, I believe it's beta, is it? It's green lit on Steam at the moment. Seem to be doing weekly updates. And yeah, it's a brilliant game. So what I'm saying today might not be true for next week, the week after. So just bear in mind, this is the end of August 2014. So if this video is still up in a year's time, some of what I'm showing may not work still. You want to build a large ship. So you would go into your large ship. And it can be difficult of, this is the landing gear, of where do you first place it. And then you've got a problem getting the ship too big. It's where do you start. Easiest way I've found. Go to some free space. G menu. New station. This is only for large ships. Small ships really shouldn't be so much of a problem. So this block, to start a new station, you can place wherever you want. So if you want to do enough room, place the block. Now this first starting station block will not move at all. It won't drift away, it can't be pushed out the way, it can only be destroyed. But then you can now build your ship from this first block and it won't float away. Build to your heart's consent, you don't have to worry. Once you have finished your ship, if I come over to the base and get in the cockpit here, or control station, Once you finish the ship, you've got the reactors, the thrusters, everything in place. Go into your menu, go into info, and then convert to ship. And that's it. The ship will one day to station, next day to ship under its own power. The only two bits of uh, problems that I've come, with, come up with up to now. On your ship, if you have these glass panes, it seems to be either with verted or on regular and inverted it seems to be with the placement I'm not sure when you then convert the station into a ship it has problems and it can glitch into other blocks this is an old design that I've yeah messed up a little bit while playing with it I had the glass panels here when I converted it to a from my station to a ship every panel instantly blew up and separated the whole front of the cockpit so if you are designing a ship if you want to put a lot of panels in leave them till the last build everything else convert from station to ship then put all the panels in afterwards Right, ne next little trip I've uh, come across, and well, countless other people. When you're connecting, say, these drills, when you went to build your first little ship, and you've got your. Well, we've all would have seen them if we've watched other YouTubes or play ourselves. We've got our conveyor tubes, your small tubes. When you are connecting these drills together, you can connect them. You don't have to have out the back of every one a conveyor then go into another tube. You can connect them up directly with each other, so drill to drill, and they will transfer everything to the drill that then has connected. So when you scale that up, you are then able to do designs like this. So this is basically drill after drill after drill after drill. There are only four points that have your um, conveyors and tubes attached to the back of these drills and everything then feeds into the cargo containers. 
it just makes other designs a bit easier they don't have to be upset, offset you know with one drill then a conveyor then a drill then a conveyor just whack them all next to each other this particular design I may as well while I'm here goes straight into the mount into the asteroids and these drills on the side keep these uh, the welders on the side keep these drills permanently um, from not getting damaged I may as well go in a little bit there's the drills there's the welders on yep. Ooh, turn them off so yeah just another little tip there This is a problem I had with a like death loop going round and round and round again. Medical blades do not seem to be like to be placed onto the glass panes. I had this one originally downstairs and I just died and died and died until eventually I just took the respawn ship. I didn't want another respawn ship. Moving it onto just the metal blocks I haven't died once. Just to show you what I mean by onto the glass. Ooh. I originally had it down here and I could not respawn on the glass. I suppose this follows on from the drills and the way they can be connected directly to each other. The same accounts for the refineries and most uh, car containers, most other objects as well. So coming down the line, I've got the conveyors and tubes that connect to a single refinery. And then off in each direction, more refineries that connect up in this manner, right, forward to backwards. They won't connect that way, just the way these doors are placed. And when you're thinking about building the base, if you want to go absolutely ham bone, just get as much in as you can. Assemblers are nice, but assemblers can work, even making the construction components quite quick. I've only got eight of them, and they do the whole base, everything I want to build. The one thing I would suggest going ham bone on, as I've just shown off the lav clip, is the refineries. I still can't seem to refine enough especially the platinum and the uranium fast enough so yeah you can get away with a few assemblers if you really want to go all out go for the refineries I think I'm gonna call it a day all of these designs have all been done while I've been playing survival I haven't played any creative I often find designs well for me anyway found in survival when you've actually got to you've got to gather all the resources to build the designs I find them more practical than some of the ones you can do in creative when you've got infinite resources so back to the grind running out of platinum again thank you very much guys see you later